In this video, I'm going to go over the software installation for the, the Trusen Anywell's laser cutter and engraver controller. The software installation is, is relatively straightforward, but there might be a problem when you're connecting the computer to the laser controller. The software that we'll be installing is called LaserCAD. And LaserCAD is the software that allows for communication with the controller, but it also allows you to draw geometry, add text, and images and download that file onto the laser controller. The reason why I'm making this video on installing a very simple piece of software is because you may not be able to get the communication driver to work with your controller. And I've found a workaround to do this. The driver that comes with the LaserCAD installation may not work with your version of Windows. And you may need to download the latest drivers that are developed by the actual manufacturer of the of the communication chip that they use in the laser controller. The chip that they use in the laser controller is the FTDI USB to serial converter, which is a standard way to convert a USB port to a, a standard serial communications protocol. And they, that may be a little bit too technical, but I'll step you through the process to install those particular drivers for this laser controller. Okay, the first thing you'll need to do is download LaserCAD. There's a couple places you can do this. You can go to the laser components on buildyourcnc.com and look for the laser control system. And at the bottom of the page, generally to the bottom, you'll have LaserCAD version 7.96.9. And this may change. I will try to update this as, uh, as much as possible. But if I don't have the latest version, you can also check at a website called SZ troCEN.com. And this is the manufacturer of this particular control system, the Anywells control system. You can go to technical service, go to download, and then go to software for the laser cutting machine software. You can click on that and you'll have a, an RAR file. It's a RAR file for the compressed type RAR. And if you don't have the RAR file, the ability to uncompress the RAR file, you can go to the buildyourcnc.com website and download the latest version that we have in compressed zip format, which is standard uh, for Windows. Windows will be able to unzip this automatically. So I'm going to cancel the one that I just did, and I'm going to download this version here, the zip format. Okay, and navigate to the folder that it was downloaded to. I'm going to I'm going to double click it just to make sure that everything is in here. So you have the setup, you have all the the folders. So I'm going to extract this to my desktop so I can easily find it. I'm going to do this by creating a new folder. Okay, and I'm just going to select everything here and just move it into that folder. So this is the contents of this folder here. And to install, you just double click on the setup. And you'll see that there are some strange characters here. And you want to click on this down arrow because this is language. And click on the English and you'll have the installation dialog box now discernible. There are two portions in this dialog box. One to install the USB driver and the other one to install whatever you select here. And you'll have the actual LaserCAD version 7.96 or you can have the plugins for whatever formats that you generally work in. In this video, I'm just gonna install the LaserCAD version 7.96, but I wanna show you also installing the USB driver. So I'm gonna do that first, and you can see that it says FTDI, CDM drivers have been successfully installed, and this gives you a good indication on what chip they're using to communicate with the computer. So I'm gonna press OK. The FTDI is a standard integrated circuit that, or company that creates integrated circuits to allow for USB communication on the serial pr protocol. And then it's gonna give you a installation wizard for the specific driver for the USB communication. And you can see that it says Trosen Anywell's AWC USB device. So I'm gonna press finish on that. And that's gonna give you the ability to select that driver for the communications port in the device manager. So I'm gonna go ahead and, and install the main program now, which is LaserCAD 7.96. And it's gonna give you the C prompt. Um, that's a that's where I install it. You can browse to another location. And that's gonna install it directly on your C on your C drive. So I'm gonna navigate to the, the C drive here. And you'll notice that it created a LaserCAD folder. 
and has all of the main folders for that program. And you'll also notice that it creates a, a new icon on your desktop. So when you double click the icon, you'll have the LaserCAD user interface presented to you. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna look at select mode. And I don't have the my computer connected to a laser at this moment, but I'm gonna go ahead and do that right now and uh, see how we can resolve any problems that we have with communicating to the laser controller. Before we do that, let's go ahead and open up the device driver. You can go to the start menu and go to device manager. And you'll notice that in the ports, you won't have anything. This is where you, you should have the, um, the driver and the connection shown. You may also see a section called other devices. And if there is a, an issue or a communications or an installation of a driver that doesn't work or isn't uh, installed correctly, you'll have probably other devices somewhere here and it'll have a little yellow um, exclamation mark with a little yellow triangle showing you there's an error and uh, most likely that particular driver will be called FT245R which is actually the name or the, the Windows trying to determine what it's connected to and that's the FTDI chip. Unfortunately, Windows doesn't have the latest drivers for that particular chip, so I will show you how to install that after we determine whether this computer can be connected or not. I'm going to be connecting to the AWC 608, which is by the same manufacturer. The connection is on the, on the top of the controller here. The control panel looks like this. Okay, I'm going to turn on the laser controller. Okay, I just turned on the laser controller. Now I'm going to plug in the laser controller to the computer. Okay, you see that there's an other devices here. And the way you get around this is you're gonna have to go to the driver and you're gonna have to update the driver. But first you need to get new software. Software from the developers of this particular chip, the FTDI chip. So let's go ahead and do that. I'm gonna go ahead and unplug it. So in your browser, you wanna look up FTDI USB serial converter driver. Should be the first link. Okay, so I'm going to go to the FTDI drivers and you're going to want the D2XX drivers. And scrolling down you'll see Windows and version 2.12.28. If you're using the 64-bit, you'll download this one. If you're using the 32-bit Windows, you download this one. So I'm going to go ahead and down download the 64-bit and it'll show CDM version 2.12.28. I'm going to go into that folder and I'm going to do the same thing I did with the um, with the LaserCAD software. I'm just going to make us a, a folder in the desktop. You might alternatively want to put this in the Windows system um, folder, but I'm just going to actually, you know, I'm, I'm going to put this one into the I'm going to put it into the uh, C the actual LaserCAD folder. So I'm going to go into LaserCAD here. And under AWC driver, I'll just put I'll just put the FTDI, FTDI into another folder here. So I'm going to open up that folder or the zip file of the download that we just created, and I'm going to copy it to the FTDI driver folder we just created. Okay, so I should have all of the information in here. That's good. And I'm going to go ahead and plug in my laser controller again. You can see that the USB serial port here has that little orange triangle. So I'm going to go to driver and I'm going to update driver. I'm going to browse my computer for driver software and I'm going to click on browse here and go to the my C colon wherever I can find it. Here we go. And then go to LaserCAD. Go to driver and then go to the FTDI driver that was just created. I'm going to go ahead and just select that as the main folder and let it find it by itself. Let's see if that works. Installing drivers. Windows has successfully updated your drivers. USB serial port. Close this and close this and you can see that there is a USB serial port COM3. The COM3 is really important for the next step. So I'm going to go ahead and start the new LaserCAD and I'm going to click select mode and you'll see that you'll have COM3, COM13, COM21. You can just delete these. You don't need these. 
and you want to make sure that the USB mode is selected. Machine name, you can select, you can change this name if you want. COM3. And when I double click this and I press find COM, I should see that it doesn't do anything. If you don't have the driver um, correctly selected, it'll say communicating unsuccessful. So I'm going to press OK with that. And to also see if there's any issues, you can go to system options, go to, man go to manufacturer's parameters. This is where you're going to want to change a lot of the parameters that you might have in the laser controller. You press read and then you can see that it read the, the parameters that are inside the laser controller. So that means you have a successful communication link to the laser controller from the computer. So that is how to properly install the LaserCAD software and overcome any issues that you have with the communication between the computer and the laser controller. Thank you for watching.